This is the case of uh, with Down syndrome, just trisomy 21, Down syndrome. So trisomy 21 causes 95% of the cases, like for Down syndrome, we can say that, because not almost, uh, not 100 cases, you can see the trisomy 21, which causes Down syndrome. Approximately 95% of the cases is like trisomy 21, and uh, which is usually because of the meiotic non-disjunction is the most common etiology. The meiotic non-disjunction, trisomy 21, causes 95% of the cases of Downs, and approximately 4% are mainly caused by Robertsonian translocation. This is also very important. Robertsonian translocation of the long arm of the chromosome 21 to another chromosome that is usually chromosome 14 or 22. So this is considered to be the another important cause for the development of Down syndrome, but approximately in very less number of cases that is usually a 4% we can say. But 1% of cases like are caused by mosaicism, like mainly resulting from the meiotic non-disjunction of uh, the chromosome 21 during embryogenesis. So the etiological factors are approximately three over here. One is the trisomy 21, causes 95% cases of Down syndrome, and the 4% is because of the Robertsonian translocation, and 1% of the cases is caused by the mosaicism. So this is the genetic defect, what you can see in the Downs. What are the characteristic features of the Down syndrome? There will be a mental retardation, one of the important feature. Semian crease, which is also referred to be the single palmar crease, we can see the semian crease. And a special specific facial features, what you can see in the Downs, like flat face, uh, sometimes you may not see the flat face in the case in US Emily when they ask about the Down syndrome, but uh, they have to give you the epicanthal folds because this is considered to be the marker for this. So flat face, epicanthal folds and the wide set eyes. So the wide set eyes and epicanthal folds, they should give and they will give in majority of the cases. And... Uh, like the brush field spots also we can identify, but not in all the cases of Downs, but it is prominent in more than 50% of the cases like brush field spots. These are nothing but there are like white spots on the periphery of the iris. Because sometimes in the case, they will mention you that there are like white spots which are identified on the periphery of the iris, which are nothing but called as the brush field spots. So all these are the Characteristic features of the Down syndrome. One is severe mental retardation. Next is a semian crease, that is a single palmar crease. Flat face, epicanthal folds, and uh, wide set eyes, brush field spots. These are nothing but the white spots on the periphery of the iris. All these are the most prominent and the characteristic features. And approximately in 20 to 30 percent of the cases, you can also see the duodenal as well as esophageal atresia in the Downs. So you should also note that sometimes the patient may also present with the, the duodenal as well as the esophageal atresia. And uh, if you talk about the congenital heart defects, which are mainly associated with the Downs, is like uh, endocardial cushion defects, which mainly leading to the ostium primum atrial septal defects. So in the Downs, the endocardial cushion defects is like more common when compared to that of the ventricular septal defects. But in our case, they gave the ventricular septal defect was the clinical manifestation what uh, we are seeing in this, but majority of the cases you will see the endocardial cushion defect, which is mainly leading to ostium primum atrial septal defects and also the ventricular septal defects and atrioventricular malformations are also seen in Downs. But more commonly, 
endocardial cushion defect leading to ostium primum atrial septal defect. Now, what are the complications what we can see in the Down syndrome? So the patients with the Down syndrome, remember that are at increased risk for the acute leukemias. This is very, very important for like MCQ point of view. Acute leukemias, especially acute lymphocytic leukemia. And also these patients are like increased susceptible towards infections. And these patients also develop degenerative changes in the brain, like uh, similar to that of Alzheimer's. But these degenerative changes in the brain are not prominent uh, at the early stages of life, but they are more prominent in the middle age. So these are the complications. So if you list out the complications once again, acute leukemias, especially acute lymphocytic leukemia, second one is a increased susceptibility towards infections, the degenerative changes in the brain, which is similar to that of uh, Alzheimer's, all these are the most prominent uh, complications we can say for Downs. Now, what is a treatment as well as prognosis? If we talk about the surgical management, surgical management is only possible if there is a presence of uh, duodenal atresia as well as congenital heart defects. So surgical treatment is uh, indicated for the duodenal atresia if it is present and also for congenital heart defects. But more than 80% of the patients survive past age of 30. That's the reason it is very important to remember that uh, the age uh, majority for the USMLE, they'll give you like a 26 year old generally. But this case, they gave like uh, you deliver a baby to a 46 year old woman at a birth. We are talking about a child, but generally they may also give you the age of 26 year old because uh, more than 80% of the patients in the downs, they survive the age past 30. But remember that the life expectancy is shortened in these individuals. So here, the incidence of the trisomy 21, like which causes 95% of the cases, which is usually because of the meiotic non-disjunction, increases with the maternal age, such as like Down syndrome occurs in one in 24 births to the mothers who are older than 45 years of age. So that's the reason the very important clue in our case is like a 46 year old woman like gave delivery to a baby. So that's the reason one in 25 births to the mothers older than 45 develops Down syndrome. 